Gary, your team are used to playing in front of big crowds now. You get the feeling that the boys are going to thrive on this one this weekend. Yeah, I think that's um, alluding to the question before. Um, I think at that stage when we played them in the first game, it was the first time that play, the, a lot of these players have played in such a big crowd and, and that type of atmosphere. Um, but they obviously learn a great deal from that. And that's what I'm saying in the sense of, I think, maybe the build-up to that game and because of the circumstances, it was all new um, to the fans as well for a long period and, and also to these players. So um, I think they've learned a lot from that. I think they've shown that in their performances going forward from that game. And um, our job is to go up there and, and play the football and focus on the football. And I'm sure that this group will be able to do that. For weeks, months, it seems, all the pressure's been on you going into games. But it feels a bit on Friday, the pressure's a little bit on them. They have obviously want to win the championship um, and they lost last weekend. Do you feel the pressure's on them more than yourselves? Well, I don't think there's any pressure on us, I think. Like I said, our objective at the start of the season was to was to improve all football matters, was to put foundations in place that the club can build upon in the future, and, um, and to improve everything football-wise for the for the group, and um, and we've done that. So, um, and I said before that that's probably been the hardest um, achievement um, that we've been able to do. I think, um, and that's credit to everyone at the club. But um, now we have a new objective, which is to try and get into a playoff spot. Or maintain a playoff spot. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a new challenge for us, but I don't think there's any pressure on us. Of course, we want to do it and we're striving for better and we want to try and achieve something like that, but um, we were never expected to be in this position. So, uh, with our main objective achieved, I think it's now time to, to focus and see if we can push for these last five games, get as many points as possible and see where it leads us. It is firmly in your hands, but were you hoping last Saturday evening when you watched the game that Wednesday might have got beaten by Newcastle? No, look, you can only concentrate on yourself. You know, that's what we have been doing. And again, that's when we're at our best, is when we focus on ourselves and you can't control what other teams do. It's not about what other teams do, it's about what we do. And, um, everything's in our own hands. Um, we want to keep it that way and, and we need to make sure that we can say that at the end of the season. It's all in our hands. Um, by focusing on myself and giving our best self the best chance of playing our best football. It was a great response last week, wasn't it? Given the, the tough week you'd had with the two away games, you must have been delighted del delighted with that and the lads looking up for this one. Is everyone fit? Yeah. Um, the injuries I just said, it's only Tyler and, um, and Marco that are out. Um, Liam and Hadio back in. Um, I said after the game it was a fantastic response, but one that's expected, you know, from, from this group we have such a strong mentality and I said to you many times, the championship, there's ups and downs along the way. It's impossible to win every single game. Every team's faced the same situation. There's teams in and around us right now facing those similar situations. But at big clubs, when you when you lose a game, there's a lot of discussion, um, a lot of opinion. Um, I think we've backed it up all season. I think with the statistics that we've shown, um, landmark results and um, records that we've, we've try to break and, and get through, um, shows how good this team is and, and what mentality they have. So um, it was always going to be clear that we would respond and great trust in them in doing that and they showed that on the weekend. So if we suffer again in these remaining five games, I'm sure we'll see a response, but we want to try and start up a run like we have been doing over the course of the season. And we've got the first one on Saturday, we want to try and maintain that for these next five games. Two games in quick succession, obviously you'll pick up maximum points, it really does put pressure on those chasing you, doesn't it? I think that's the objective for every team now, is to pick up as many points as possible. And, but we're going to take it each game. We're focused on this game. It's three points that are up for grabs, and that's something that we're going to fight our maximum and, and do our best to try and achieve. And then we move on to the next game after that. But really, our only focus is on this game that we can. Rob Green made a, a bit of a, an error, one of his few, it has to be said, this year. Has he anything been mentioned about that? Or I mean, I'm sure he'll be determined to put it right, but he's been fantastic, hasn't he, the last couple of months? Yeah, look, he doesn't have to put anything right. Uh, I think throughout the course of a season, every single player will make a mistake. And, and often or not, those mistakes might lead to a goal. You know, that's generally how it comes. So um, all players have been responsible for a mistake that might have led to something against us, but you know, they've all performed fantastically well. They've all improved so much and um, we're delighted with the squad and how they've been and, and how they've been showing um, and improving throughout the season and, and now that these five games are, are an opportunity to show just how far they've come and, and how much they're, they're wanting to improve with the mentality that they have.